I'm Tony Lombardi with a Russell Street recap brought to you by Royal Farms. You can always find me at Royal Farms. Everything I need is right here, like my morning coffee, my breakfast sandwich, chicken for dinner, cash for the day, milk and bread for home, even gas for my car, like I'm doing now. Save up to 25 cents a gallon on gas, earn points, and get freebies with your Rofo Rewards card. Royal Farms, my one-stop shop for everything I need. Real fresh, real fast, Royal Farms. The connection between the Ravens and Antonio Brown won't go away. If Brown makes his way back to the NFL, the dotted lines to Baltimore are logically sound. There, A.B.'s cousin Marquise resides, and the two were seen recently working out in Florida with the league's reigning MVP, Lamar Jackson. Social distancing be damned. Put that together with the Ravens' annual offseason wish list, which almost always includes a wide receiver, and the A.B. to be more deductive reasoning is on point. But Antonio Brown and Logic go together like a vampire and sunlight. There's something seriously wrong with A.B. He's a ticking time bomb, and in between the glimpses of reasonable thinking lie Kenyan-sized lapses of rational behavior. And let's not forget that given the pending domestic violence allegations that have yet to be fully vetted, A.B., at this moment, is not even cleared to play in the NFL. If he was, maybe Cowboys owner Jerry Jones, who has taken flyers on some less-than-desirable characters such as Greg Hardy, Randy Gregory, and most recently Alden Smith, would take a shot on Brown. Think about it. If A.B. was remotely close to a worthy risk, would Jones have ponied up a five-year, $100 million deal with $60 million guaranteed for Amari Cooper? Cooper isn't half the player that A.B. is, and Brown would take far less than half the amount to play anywhere. D.V. has never deterred the Jerry before, so why now? Well, it might be because A.B. is whacked. He needs professional help. Bringing him into a carefully developed culture that was years in the making here in Baltimore would be like inviting Charlie Sheen to a party at a convent. When asked about the potential of Brown to the Ravens during the pre-draft Zoom conference, GM Eric DaCosta said, I don't really feel a need to share that with you all right now. As far as players, free agent players, we wouldn't talk about those guys right now. It doesn't really serve any purpose for us to talk about players that are available right now. There's really no benefit in doing that. So, I think I'll just leave that one alone. What Eric meant to say is, are you nuts? But he's more respectful than that. So he responded in GM speak. Besides the drama, besides the disrupted culture, besides the phallic candy he tossed towards Broward County law enforcement, A.B. would place his cousin in a tough spot. If things work out splendidly with Antonio, it could diminish Marquise's productivity and future earning power. If things don't work out well, you place Hollywood between family and employer, and that too could place a dent in Marquise's effectiveness and possibly taint his outlook on a proud franchise. It's a potentially complicated situation that the Ravens and DaCosta do not have to embrace. So, for the benefit of everyone, let's uncomplicate the A.B. to B. more situation with three simple words. No, no, no. I'm Tony Lombardi.